Welcome back everyone to my Stellaris Let's Play, playing on hard difficulty and I'm playing with the Order of the Holy Swarm. It's actually been at least a few days since I recorded last. I think it's the 8th today, so you should actually get your hands on Stellaris yourself on the 9th of May if uh, you happen to choose to pick it up, basically. And I definitely recommend you do so because I'm having a ton of fun with the game. The game's absolutely amazing. Uh, when this video comes out, the embargo for reviews is actually lifted, so people can uh, basically w say whatever they want to say about it, review the game, which I couldn't really uh, do uh, before. But uh, yeah, I'd thoroughly recommend the game. If I hadn't have gotten it for free, then I would have picked it up for full price and been very happy to pick it up at full price, uh, which I wouldn't be so happy with many other games, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, not all games that are AAA that cost AAA prices are worth paying for. It's better to wait on Steam usually. But with Stellaris, yeah, absolutely brilliant so far. Thoroughly enjoying things. Now, since the last video, uh, as I mentioned, it's been a few days, the second recording session this is, I've actually lowered the sound of some things, the uh, sound effects, and also the music a tiny bit. I'll tell you what, let's go into the settings so you can see that. Uh, so hopefully that will get rid of any potential issues. Uh, I thought it was a bit loud before, no one complains, but um, yeah, uh, I've loaded them a bit. Uh, the start of this uh, uh, video, I've also done some other things. For instance, I've got this queued up to start moving. I believe my wormhole range must have increased at some point, so there's a variety of new stars I can pay a visit to and I'll be getting my science ships over to those stars very soon. I've actually stuck a uh, colony ship in a list that's now being built on Negev and you may be wondering Negev, I am colonized Negev before. I changed the names of my planets so what I'm gonna go with is basically deserts in the main, at least for my desert planets and area planets. That is Gaia but that's uh, desert as well I believe. Uh, so yeah I could have called it after Ants or some religious thing, but yeah, I'll stick with deserts, I think, for my planet names. Uh, for my Corvette, I upgraded that as well in between videos. I think it uh, basically didn't have the newest sensor type on it. You know what? I haven't upgraded that. Oh, hang on a second. It did actually save it. So I've got two, that's why. Let's delete that one. Okay. I think I just call my ships after some appendage events, stuff along those lines, a stin, mandible, whatever, uh, for the time being. I'm probably going to name my heroes after uh, people who leave comments, and I should thank you as well for leaving comments and likes as well. I believe we're pretty much ready to get started and unpause, but before I do that I actually want to pay a visit into here to talk with some of the civilizations. So let's start off with the Bothrians. The Bothrians are incredibly similar to our faction as well, actually. They have very similar <coughs> uh, ethics. They're decadent and charismatic, arid to the desert preference, and they're nomads. I actually want to have some of these on my planets. So I'm going to try and get a migration access. Basically, they will make my population happier being charismatic, I think. Uh, so I'm going to offer some energy credits in hope of uh, getting them to migrate. They're nomadic, so there's a decent chance. That's uh, migration access there. I believe that's them migrating over to you. Allow the other parties, pops, to migrate to own plants for the duration of the trade deal. I'm going to keep this going for 10 turns. If you hold control, you can select 10 at a time. I think a shift or 100 at a time. So that's going to cost me 48 bucks. Let's confirm that. And I'm also going to talk with another person on here. Because that guy has very similar ethics, they should uh, be very suited to living on my worlds. This guy, Sally, is a bit different. We are spiritual as well, but he's pacifist. He's not going to be too happy with my slavery going on on my worlds if he does emigrate over to here. But I'm going to do the same. So let's offer a trade deal, get migration access, and he'll actually pay for this, surprisingly. So, I'm going to try and pick something up. Research. He doesn't want migration from me. Sadly, I would allow that. Um, 
information star chart, so that's well worth getting actually, so we can see all the stuff he's explored. And I'm going to do an instant transfer to get as much minerals as I can. So, it's a bit debatable if they're giving a bit too much. It's not crazy levels though. Right, let's do that. So, confirm that lasts 10 years and I'll renew it. Right, let's start. Let's get going. Okay, so both of those hopefully accepted. Your team terms are reasonable. Okay. And yeah. So there are downsides potentially with having them on our worlds. They could potentially cause rebellions if they become unhappy for some reason. Uh, it's more likely if their ethics are significantly different. I've got everything on the go. Colony ship there. A couple of buildings there. I think I also enslaved that guy in between videos he needed doing. Uh, minerals are half decent these days. Uh, right, so constructor finished, and it looks like we found something over here. It's a continental world, which I can't do anything about. Uh, right, so that can... That's on the right settings to run away, I think. That constructor... Uh, I have no idea what there is here. Let's go and uh, do that turbic one, is it? Okay. I've actually been playing a game in my own time, so to speak, over the last few days as well. So I'm more clued up than I was. I'd say I was pretty clued up for someone who was, you know, already. Uh, but should be even more so now. Uh, this guy, if you right click on there, you can actually do all of the mining stations and all the research stations. So uh, let's start off with a mining one, is it? Okay, I've said that. Right, I gotta be careful about that. Oh, I don't wanna do that, obviously, because I'm gonna be colonizing that soon, unless I find uh, another place I can colonize. Um, wormholes is something that I didn't know completely all about how they worked in the last recording session, so I was basically just sticking them within my borders. You don't have to do that. Uh, for instance, I'm going to be getting one down here, I think, to extend my range. There's no hostiles there, by the looks of it. I might want to get another border frontier outpost down here as well. Tropical is one of the types of worlds my people could definitely live on without too much hassle. So, yeah, picking that up is a good idea. Construction complete. I still want to be declaring war on people. I might want to pick up an alliance before I do that, potentially. But for me to be able to do that, there probably has to be a war that uh, these people are threatened by before that. Right, so Alvis uh, basically built something. Uh, minerals are really getting decent now. Uh, energy's fine. Yeah, I've been uh, playing as a scientific faction. And with them, I was focusing just on physics, getting the physics research buildings and had a trait for physics as well. I think actually concentrating on one research is a very decent idea, potentially, because you could go after the weapons. Um, so I might be doing that. I think I might be focusing on engineering. Social society is always important. Now, actually, having a uh, sieve that focuses on that could be a good idea because you get a terraforming tank pretty early. So that might be another way to go. Physics and has a lot of energy type improvements, though, so that's very important as well. Since energy, well, you need it for maintenance for everything. You've got to have good energy. So I was uh, energy focused and uh, beam focused, so physics is perfect in that game I've been playing. Uh, right, there's a space amoeba somewhere. Oh, look at this. Desert world. I think I'm going to colonize that. Next, we're going to have more border frictions of these guys, but it will give me access down here. So I was looking really trapped in before, but I'm not. I just haven't been using my wormholes as well as I could have. By the looks of things. Um, he's over there now. Uh, let's get some of these science ships out then. Yeah, did I mention uh, what I'll be doing with lead with leaders is uh, naming them after 
people who've left comments as well at some point. Uh, that's what I'm hoping to do. So if you want me to name a leader after your uh, username for YouTube, let me know and uh, I'll do that next session. Right, so uh, overcooled, let's get you out. Let's get you surveying uh, down here if I can. How do we survey? I can't even remember. It's not letting me there. Have I done it before? Yeah, I have. That's why I didn't realize. I got um, their star charts, didn't I? So, looks like all of these are already mapped. There's content of world there. I might want to colonize back there as well, but that could cause more friction. Uh, looks like their star charts included stuff up here. So there's a yeah a few worlds back there. Do I have I um right I haven't actually surveyed that one. So let's go and do that. Survey that there. And I think we'll get that one to survey that. That can actually go into Alvar Ray. Uh, I think I mixed them up at some stage. So uh, let's go there. He's got. Um, yeah, he's better suited for giving extra research. Yeah, that one hasn't been served either, but his hostiles are going to have to get a bigger fleet before taking them on. Uh, money's coming up a lot, but I think I'm just going to try and get colony ships out now pretty quickly. At least a couple. So I'm going to need one there and one there. I still need one up there, but I can wait because it's within my borders. So let's on Alvis get another colony ship out. What I should also check here is because we've got embassies all with each other, relations are good, so I don't think there's any chance of them declaring war on me. And we're actually pretty equivalent. Yeah, so let's get another colony ship up on Alvis. Uh, I'm gonna want that guy there. Okay, ethics are started to diverge. Uh, that can then... I found a trick as well here. If you right click on there, then you go straight to the planet and then you can do assist research. That saves a bit of time. Uh, that construction ship... That can... Uh, that's zero percent. So yeah, let's get that up and running. It's not going to be done anytime soon. That is 60. I'm going to want to colonize both of those relatively soon, so I'll do those. I need to get a wormhole built here, which I forgot then as well. I should probably should have done that first. I can also do it there. Yeah, I, might, I can extend my range a lot here. So, no. Yeah, I'd, if I'd have known that, I'd have done it earlier. It was definitely a mistake on my part, but uh, still learning the game to a certain extent. Right, so that construct is done. Let's get you down here then to extend my range. So, uh, you can't do it within the gravity well there, you can't do it there. I'm right clicking, yeah it's not working, but if I right click there, build wormhole station. So, what I want to do is probably put it in the nearest direction of where a cluster of stars are, arguably. I'm going to put it down in that direction. Now I don't know if the wormhole range, this yellow line, is counted from like the middle of the sun, or if it's counted from where the station is. So, I should probably do a test on this at some stage, but for now I'm going to uh, put it as near down to stuff as I can. So let's um, put it there. Okay, wormhole stations, they have only 0.25 energy maintenance. They're really Research cheap. Complete. And they have, what, 75 production, I think. Research. Tile blockers, brilliant. So dangerous wildlife is uh, now researched. And I've immediately noticed something that's amazing. Uh, planetary unification, monthly influence, and it gives an edict as well. Yeah, so I might stick a border outpost there. I'm going to colonize there, colonize there, which will increase border friction and chances of war. So I'm going to have to keep um, or get up more of a military in a bit as well. But uh, we're going to have six colonies soon as well. That's going to cause issues, which I'm going to be talking about shortly. You can see directly control planets number there. 
Uh, right, I should also be checking my plants, see if uh, they need any stuff on there. Also, something I found out recently, if you come here, and press on that button there, which I didn't realise existed before, you can see what you've actually researched. And it even includes text that you get, well, we start with, uh, before games start in effect. So, if you're wondering whatever you've picked up, because you've forgotten, which uh, I've forgotten a certain amount of things, I can come back in here, uh, should I wish. And also, I don't think I showed you the victory screen. The victory screen lists certain conditions that we can strive to fulfill to ensure that the legacy of our star nation will endure for as long as there is intelligent life in the galaxy. In fact, I'm pretty sure I didn't show it because this probably wouldn't have popped up otherwise. So, there's a couple of victory types currently. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be more on the day of release or in the future after that. I imagine there will be, but uh, we either have to get 40% of the all colonized planets within the map or uh, conquer the other 15 sieves. It's a pretty tall task, both of those are. I can only imagine how difficult maps larger and smaller. This definitely isn't a small map, even if it's called Construction small. complete. Uh, right, so we've just had a uh, colony ship complete on Negev. So, with that, let's get colonized it. Let's colonize there, first of all. So, let's click down here. And uh, right click and colonize planet. Now, let's actually check out Negev. It's. Uh, not Negev. Helm it is. So, it's a pretty decent world, actually. Very decent. Uh, there's 21 tiles there. That's excellent, in fact. So, let's get colonizing. Right, let's find a good spot to colonize. So, uh, I could go there or any of that block, really, if I want to get the most out of it. So, that's a good tile, I reckon. Uh, it might be the best so far. Science is next to there, next to there, next to there, next to there. So, yeah, I'm going to go there. That won't eradicate any science tiles. Yeah. And uh, that's job done for the time being. So I think, yeah, all of these were surveyed because we took the star charts off them. Oh, no, it's not. That one. Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's a thing there, that's why that hasn't been done. But yeah, everything else has been done. Okay. Now, because this is on hard difficulty, I'm not sure if the AI is more inclined to declare System warning. Survey I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, the very first game I actually played was on insane difficulty, and I did have the AI declare war on me after about 30 years on that. But I haven't had any... I haven't had that happen since I've been playing hard on the uh, games I've been trying since then. Uh, right, so this one. Uh, right, so we discovered stuff here and some nice resources. A border outpost there is what I'm going to make pretty soon then. Right, so I think that's uh, surveying done. Let's put him back on. Uh, research assists. Let's find out what our science ratings are. Uh, looks like Negev is the next best one. So right click and assist. Okay. Where's my attack swarm to? It's over there. And I think we should bring this back. To Construction our... complete. Okay, it's so a Negev. Completed production. Money is starting to go down a tiny bit. Okay, right, that construction ship just finished. Getting up resources, no doubt. Right, with this one, let's bring you down to here. And is this definite now? I'm definitely going to want to colonize that at some stage. Get some resources. I just can't do it yet. I could do it over there, but I'm hoping I can get my colony ship over there quick enough. These guys were arid, they colonize. So in theory, if he, he could probably colonize that desert. Well, if he has the tank, but he might not yet. I'm hoping he doesn't. So, yeah, let's right, uh, right click and click that. Right, so there's, there's a ton of my influence gone. Okay, 
let's check this out. So don't need to build anything there yet. I can enslave here now though. So which gives the most here? 3.6, 3.6. I'll enslave you. There's tile blockers. I want another leader, a governor one as well, but we are a bit low, so I don't think I'll spend it quite yet. So let's enslave you. Okay. And uh, pause. That one, I couldn't. You know what? I'm going to enslave because we got four there. happy here. Ooh, that's something as well, new. Uh, we've got two immigration treaties, we're getting bonus happiness from that. Because we are xenophile, our race, they like immigration treaties. Okay. So I wouldn't mind getting my science up, definitely. Uh, immigration is probably going to be about two years before we have a chance of it happening. To be honest, I don't think we will get anyone settling on our plants yet because they're not desert focused. I didn't actually show you this race, did I? Uh, these guys are terrible at migration, so I'm not even going to bother. Their race isn't actually all that amazing. Leader lifespan will be useless for us. They're Arctic, so they're definitely not going to want to colonize on our planets, especially with the immigration. And, um,. But they are good at ar army damage, so I would like some of these guys I can use as my soldiers, basically, when invading people. And the mineral bonus, uh, that's probably useless for us, isn't it? Because we're industrious, we've got better already. So I could use those mm -hmm. as soldiers down the line now. Uh, I forget some. Right, so, uh, colonizing is costing me money, but considering that minus 8, it's probably pretty good going. That's going to get done soon, so we're going to have two on a go. I can see our border slightly there. You know what? I think it's time to get another constructor out. I want three on a go. So, uh, let's get that there. We've got destroyers coming in, so I think I'm going to wait until I got that before making any more ships. Corvettes! They're good for taking out early aliens, but proper war situations, I don't think they're very good. Pretty much all games of this type, the small ships get outdated and it's pointless in making them. And uh, I was hoping that wouldn't be the case at Solaris, but I think that it is the case. Uh, we've now built the uh, wormhole by there, so we've got huge range down here. I'm going to have to get my fleet out again. We should start to find some people now then. Um, in a bit. So let's hold shift and add all of these down here. And I think I'll do those later after that's all done. Right, so I'm going to have to get the science ships back out. I may want a third science ship in a bit as well. Uh, that constructor's done, and that's making the border outpost. So, where am I going to? Uh, send you to. Let's go and get the Thunder Energy. Okay. Research complete. Research destroyer. Nice. Uh, oh, immediately on the list is the destroyer assembly yard. I want this big time, so let's go and pick that up. Can't remember what weapons we've got. Uh, let's actually ship design a destroyer then. Okay, so I'm getting to see a destroyer for the first time. Let's stick some new stuff on here. So the plasma thrusters, extra sublight speed, and chance to evade. Construction Maybe complete. Maybe not. Uh, was that the one I just? made. Yes, it was. Do I have enough minerals? Uh, right, let's get you into action. Let's bring... Oh, haven't I? Is there really nothing in this system? Yeah, it's been 
intel's on high. There's actually nothing there. Um, right, I can wait then. Right, let's get back to the shipyard. Oh, no, I know what I can do. Let's make a wormhole down here. So I'm going to want the wormhole coming down in that direction, I think. So... Okay, so we got that. Computer we haven't updated yet. The Construction complete. We've only got one weapon type. Alpha's finished the uh, colony ship. Right, let's get that over to this colony. So we're pretty much going to encircle this guy, which I'm not sure how he's going to like that. Uh, right. So, uh, Maragdis. 14 tiles. Sounds good to me. Colonize planet. So that tile or that tile is the choice on the face of things. So I'd lose the science there, and I think I'd lose an energy there if I happen to colonize. There's a food tile. Food tile there. I think I'm going to lose the energy tile. So, uh, let's place it there. Okay. Uh, we might start to get issues now with having um, six colonies already. Even though it's not, strictly speaking, six colonies yet. Right, so coil guns are the only thing we got, which isn't great. I really need to improve on that pretty soon. We don't have any shields, which is actually in the physics department, so I haven't got much in the way of physics. There's no surprises. There's armor up, which is going to cost a lot of money. Uh, it needs a better fusion. And I believe that's done. It's 192. The armor, what it does, if I haven't said this before, it basically reduces damage on your hull so yeah questionable but how worthwhile this is four costs each you can see the medium armor is better than the small armor though I'm not sure how the ship departments actually work as well if you could disable like this department the hope breaker how it would affect the ship in combat uh, you can actually change these as well we could have a medium Weapon, large weapon on that. These they're all small. You know what? I think I'll have a medium weapon just in case we come up against something like a destroyer. <laughs> so these are more useful against. Well, I think how it works is. Oh wow, power went. Oh right, it took them all off. That's why. Yeah, in theory. Oh, did the power go to the medium one? Looks like it did. Yeah, we'll have that. Um, I call it the mandible. Which I hope I spelled that right. Uh, save that. Okay. And delete the old type. Yeah, in theory, Research the complete. larger weapon size should be better against bigger ships, but not so good against smaller ships. And I think that's what uh, Paradox have said before, but I'm not quite sure how it works. Right, so we've got planetary unification, an edict, which I'm not going to be using until I've got a lot of influence, if ever. And more importantly, a ton of extra influence now. What I'm hoping for is arid colonization tech. Brilliant. Okay. Excellent, so a bit of luck there. There's a decent chance it was going to appear though. Uh, there's more influence there, which I'd really like, but uh, let's pick up the arid colonization text. All of a sudden, it looks like we might be able to colonize quite a bit after all. And there's going to be a ton of space down here as well, potentially. Uh, where are you two? Going back and forth. Right, we've actually got the ability now to. Uh, Look down here, haven't we? So, let's do that. Uh, that guy's on three, that guy's on four. You can come 
here. Survey. Survey. Okay. If I didn't have wormhole uh, faster than light travel, I wonder how easy it would be to get down here as quickly. Probably harder, I imagine. But the other faster than light travels do have their own advantages in various ways. Uh, right, minerals. Our cap is 11,000, so I don't have to spend everything all at once, but so I should start to spend some stuff here. That needs uh, science, definitely. Or I could stick it on. No, I think I'm happy with science. Uh, so let's get the science lab up here. The science lab costs maintenance. Some of these basic ones don't, though, actually, so it can be worthwhile getting them up early on rather than waiting. What finished? Uh, this did. Right, so we've got the energy there. I think I'm going to have to wait on that. Colony established. Okay, so Helm finished. Let's get down there. I'm gonna have to figure out a different desert name for a planet. Uh, yeah, I'll do that later. You know what? Sahara would be pretty good here. Hopefully my spelling is correct. Probably not. Uh, right, so he's there. Not gonna enslave him quite yet. That guy, I'm gonna want food next. And doesn't look like there's much food on there. At all, in fact. So that could be an issue. I can't get rid of that tile block here. I'll leave him on there for the time being then. Let's. Yeah, I need to get that done. Should have got that done before. Alright, so that guy's growing next. Money is not bad, surprisingly. Uh, Rin World Encountered. I've never had this event before. We have encountered a massive Rin World surrounding the star in a second. <laughs>